Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm working on the 300ZX. We noticed after we fixed that driver side fender that the headlight pocket and pretty much all this area on the Silver Z, the one we're gonna be building, is all damaged. And we did try to pull it and bodywork it, but with the messed up fenders that we had, we didn't notice how bad they were. Once we put a good pair of fenders to it, then we noticed how much of a gap we had. And I have a few pictures. I'll go ahead and insert them right here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Now that we noticed that, and good thing that we have this good donor car, we're gonna go ahead and remove this nose panel and remove the one off of the silver, silver one and put this one on that one. So that way everything fits as perfect as possible because you know how these cars are, the bumpers, the headlight, the hood, the fender, they all flow together evenly. They all look very flush together. And that's one thing that I really like about these cars because the nose panel is very sleek. And so that's one thing I was very concerned about. So now, <clears throat> so now that I have this donor car, I'm able to remove what I need. We already took off everything that was around the area. We stripped it to what we need took everything out that's going to be in our way and we're going to go ahead and cut this out from right here and we're going to work our way down come down here into that pocket and then so you can see the pocket we're going to come down cut it up to this little gap that we have right here because this this other panel right here where this bolt is welded to is part of the headlight it's this panel right here so this panel this panel this panel and this panel all get smashed together so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it to this little gap right here so that way it separates from the wheel well and then i just got to air hammer that little piece off let me show you from this side we just got an air hammer in here that'll separate it all completely and remove the one little spot weld that we have right here after that this whole thing will come off same thing on this side we got to do the same thing to this side it's the same exact thing everything will come off and on the silver one let me go ahead and walk over there and show it to you guys so now that i'm here this is that fender i was telling you now that we have it all planned out on this side we are gonna have to remove it the way you would if you were doing a let's say the right way we're not gonna cut it out like how we're gonna do to that one that one we're chopping it up this one we're gonna have to separate each panel remove everything which is okay because this one we can just drill away it's all junk and this is that part that i, I told you that we tried to repair but once we put it on we noticed that it still has a big downward slag so you can see right here all this all these crinkles are from a previous crash this car's been crashed before so we're gonna have to fix all this on the apron we're gonna have to fix all that before we're able to install the new nose panel all that's gonna have to be straightened out and pulled a little bit just like just so it fits just like that you see the fender is supposed to lay right on there and on this side like you guys saw in those pictures it's not lining up so now that we have everything planned out we're gonna go ahead and start with the white one first that way we can tr cut it out and clean it up once we clean it up we're gonna notice how everything goes together once we separate all the excess metal that we don't need so that way it fits up into that one perfectly we'll know exactly how it fits together because this is the first time I've ever I've ever done this my dad has done this stuff plenty plenty times it's really no problem to him but for me this is my first time doing it and I kind of want to try to do a little bit of this stuff on my own I want to try to not ask for as much help as possible I want to try to do it all off of his teachings so that way I can try to do it myself because eventually I will be doing this all by myself so now I'm gonna go ahead and get everything ready to cut this out so that way I can start the cleanup. And what I mean by the cleanup is 
like I said, we're gonna cut it from here. So once I cut this out and get all this separated, we're gonna have all this extra metal still attached to what we need. And we're gonna have to separate it the right way from this panel. So that way it fits into that car as perfect as possible. All right guys, so now you guys know the game plan. Let's go ahead and get to work.